to the game here because this is something I've really wanted to look into and it's not just uh, not just from a game perspective but from a historical perspective I know myself personally it's been very important to me the uh, the inclusion of the Negro Leagues as part of their uh, part of their bringing out the talent of MLB the show and honestly, having the cards will be a good thing as well. But at the same time, I just want to enjoy this game here. So let's take a look at the Negro Leagues here and see what we can cut. See which storylines we get into. came together to accomplish that dream. 2,600 plus men and women would play in this league. Yeah, Mickey, I, I, I really start to enjoy, um, I, I love when they do presentations like this, because there's a lot of stuff people don't know about these leagues. would change the game forever with an awe-inspiring style that was all their own. The nation's best baseball wasn't being played in the major leagues who was being played across the country, under bright lights and in front of incredible crowds. And through the passion of his players, he became a cornerstone on the path to equality. Yeah, some of these players, you, I, I had no clue about until I started watching the previews the of this. These are their stories. This is the Negro Leagues. And it's amazing living in Canada here. We, I, I think a lot of us don't really understand how much the uh, how much segregation is a part of life right now. What even a lot of people don't even expect it. But okay, so we can't do the main one until we get through the other ones here. So let me. Uh, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna get through all these. Don't get me wrong. Satchel Page. Let's see what we, somebody has eight episodes, some have nine. So I know a lot of people have started with the early ones. I want to start with this one here. Martin Dingo, Dehingo. One of the most versatile player ever, because you know, versatile players are a good thing. Pitch three innings, do not give up a run. And then there's a whole bunch of uh, extra stuff we're going to get out of this. I'll, I'll definitely get into this. Let's go. The great Martin de Higo is not a household name. Oh, but he should be. Because there are many who believe that Martin de Higo is the greatest baseball player of all time, black or white. One thing that we do know, he is the most versatile baseball player in the history of the sport. Oh yeah, played all nine positions and played all nine of them well. 1938, he wins the pitching title. He posts an 18 and two Hot damn. with a microscopic 0.90 ERA. But oh, it gets better. He hits 387 that same season and won the batting title as well. How is it possible that we don't know the name of a player of this magnitude. It's because nobody advertised him. When I get my PS5, this and WWE will be the first two games. Jay Quick, do you have a do you have an Xbox? Because this is free on Game Pass. Like I most of the people that are a part of the Electric Show League have not paid for this. Pitchers bid the bat. Screw this DH crap. Ha! So I actually cheat, McG. I know you said you had a problem with uh, Satchel's release point. 
I don't use any kind of special pitching ability. I just use the regular. Now the left fielder, Harvey. Use pinpoint. Uh, it's pulling this crap on me here. Just a sec, chat. I have to down. Yeah, it's simply on Game Pass here. I gotta put in my wire controller because for some reason, it's one of the faults I find that I have in this game. When you try to, uh, you try to play it on a different controller, it just doesn't want to seem to work. Thank goodness I use a wire controller, so that way I don't have to worry about it as much here. I was thinking about using Pulse as well. That's the only one I could think of that I would actually consider at this point. There, yeah, that's better. I've just been using Classic for now. On the corner for a strike, and away we go this afternoon. Next offering oh. down low and in the dirt. Digo winds and fires. In the air, left field, glass. Nice Big catch. And a quick out number one. I just want to get through so all my pitches and see what I got versatile. so that I can start every position on the diamond and at elite levels Marshall the next so since we're into this outside. part of the game let's throw a little music on Chris that 1938 season in the Mexican League for Digo to go 18 and two pitching and win the batting title what? at the same time it's just unthinkable yeah, and I mean, the only other guys who've ever done something in the same ballpark are Babe Ruth and Shohei. Pulse is nice because you the ability control up being too difficult to master. Awful with pinpoint meter. Like, I was going to use the uh, the he down and flick up one, play. but I might I might start going with Pulse Punch here later there. on. Two away now for Digo. Two like, I would like to change up things up a little bit, but... I've been more worried trying shallow. to get the uh, hitting fixed, right? That right. one's in there, 0 and 1. And going back to Digo's versatility, Boog, in 1935, guy started in center field and batted. Big point is tough, but once you get that timing down, oh my, yeah. He in relief later on. This is way before Shohei Otani did something similar in 2021. And he's down 0 2 as okay. he swings through it. Let's get out of this inning here. Next offering is foul back. Right through there. Jesus, and come on, buddy. There as he gets a one, two, three. At least I'll get a bunch of XP out of this. Hopefully, you know, I do have a decent team setting up for next week already because I did finish. Uh, I did the conquest mode for the World Baseball Classic. Back to work. And that gets you a ton of rewards with the uh, program. I got all the moments done for the World Baseball Classic as well. Basically, I got to grind a few events and a few uh, and a few players for the WBC, and I should be done that program here pretty quick. Swing and a miss. One two. Now one and two. And I'm probably gonna do that while uh, watching the Kings Oilers game tonight a little bit as well. And this one could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. Here's the throw, but he's in there easily. Good two strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Really good job keeping that one fair down the line. He let that <laughs> off speed pitch on the inside part of the Couple days off to be great. Like today and tomorrow, my day's off. So, and tomorrow I got to get a lot of my. Uh, Thumbnails and stuff done for the website, like the YouTube channels. By the way, if you're not subscribed to the YouTube channels, do yourself a favor and subscribe to them because we got a lot of stuff coming down the pipe. 
all my electric show league games will be on there and i'm trying to convince crowder to do that as well for his and Digo gets the first out of the inning. So you guys will be able to check out some baseball with us here. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about you notice with these guys, they don't the show right any baseball cards or anything because it's they weren't allowed to have anything like that. Very good read can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Digo kicks and delivers. And he hits a ground ball right side. Tosses the first, and they got him. Okay, now I just got to focus to get this one out, out here. Fielder, Hunter. And that one wrapped foul. Two outs, just oh. missed. One and one. And one and two. One and two. See if he goes head hunting here. Ah, come on! That's That's ball. Ball. Riding to the plate. Still two and two after the foul ball. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Two He's outs. fighting, I'll and say that. Position. Swing and a try. Ah, crap. Deep center field. On its way. Home run. <sighs> All right, this is what I hate about these pitching ones. You have to go back and redo it all over again. Nah. All right, here we go. Here's the left fielder, Harvey. The wind of the pitch. And he lays down a bunt. And Digo gets the first out of the inning. Nice. Quick the out. The will be the shortstop, Marshall. Oh, I know some of those challenges, like, especially the ones like two hits in a game or two extra base hits in a game or um, hit a home run and one at bat. To me, those are like freaking nuts. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. You tie a guy up like that, you're feeling like you are in command. Next pitch misses way outside. But it's sort of like what I was saying earlier in our uh, little Discord chat for our group. Swing on the two -two. Come on, he went. First. Didn't go. I'm going to walk him up, aren't I? Nope. That's the third. Whips it across. Nice. Two away now for Digo. The one challenge is strike out three batters. No, oh, I know that one. I I didn't finish it. I did not finish that perfect inning for Chang. I didn't get it. So I'm like, nah. Don't need to get all of them quite yet. We could just grind it, grind out a few other players. Comes up empty. It's not like you get anything extra out of it compared to you know grinding a few players in a few games. I'm just waiting for that. Uh, that XP ballpark that people are going to build for us here. Like, if you guys don't remember, you guys didn't see last year. We had a bit of a, what, what we call the grinders park. The fences were in about as close as possible, and from Digo. they were in as far as possible, they were as low as possible. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So, if you can get one of those and then just get Colorado in there, Colorado's pitching staff or Oakland's or Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. And now the right fielder, Bell. You could just set up and just go go to hay there. 
and a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Deagle winds and fires. And that one fouled off. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. And a pop up right side foul territory. Reaching for it. I should have read for that myself. All right, Taylor, let's see what you got. Yes, he did. Thank you. And yes, he offered at it. See if he chases one on the outside this time. Nope. Next pitch one and in one. the dirt. And yeah, the count even one and one. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. Pitch misses two there. Two. Now two and two. See if we can get him this time. Oh, no, 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 get that. That's back there. And that ball is gone. Oh, my. Well, these challenges aren't supposed to be easy, right? All right, ready to go here. And now Harvey. Get to that first inning yeah. without an issue here. I might have to switch over to pulse hit, pulse pitching here. Especially if we're going to be playing on All-Star here. Tips the outside corner, and the count is 0-2. Digo comes to the plate. Going to count 1-2. That Martin Digo, so unbelievably versatile, able to play every position on the diamond and at elite levels. That one the other way. Nice catch. Rolls it in for the out. All right, let's get First through this. Simul. 38 season in the Mexican League for Digo to go 18 and two pitching and win the batting title at the same time. It's just unthinkable. Yeah, and I mean the only other guys who've ever done something in the same ballpark are Babe Ruth and Shohei Otani. He could beat you every single day in every way. Oh. I wish that they could dirt. find some way to do the commentary based on what was back then. But even then, I don't even think he would want to in many ways. Third in the East-West All-Star game. Then he pitched in relief later on. This is way before Shohei Otani did something similar in 2021. Digo winds and fires. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. There we go. And misses two away now for Digo. Two outs, space is empty. Reese will hit next. In there, and it's 0 and 1. No score just getting Let's started. Let's see if we can get a little circle change down here as well. And there we go. And miss, and that's that. One down. And welcome back. Now it's the right fielder, Bell. The why to kick the pitch. I find it interesting that they will not, and they absolutely yeah, refuse to, use one. their first names here. Because they do have Hunter available, but... Right side, hard hit. He'll do it himself, oh. and Digo gets the first out of the inning. Taylor yeah. in the box now. No balls in a strike. No one Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. Come on, you're supposed to swing at those. Here's a 1 1. And delivers oh, outside. outside. Out towards left center. That's Turner caught. Under it. That's caught. Thank you. Puts it away for the out. Okay, we're, we're going to be two thirds of the way yeah, through here pretty quick. Come on, Chester. Here. 
He's a number eight hitter. You're not supposed to do too much here. That's hard hit on the line. Dives by That's okay. That's okay. One base hit. We're not gonna. We're not gonna fret over it. Line drive the other way. You feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands. You let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. One ball, no Hunter strike. stands in now. Looks at that one inside. I'm using this one, so I don't know what's going on here. Vigo kicks and delivers. He was late there. Strike one. one. Squirts away a little bit and an excellent job keeping it right there. Good job on the curveball. Now let's see if we can get him to chase high. The next ah, pitch misses the and the count is even two and two. Two and two. There we go. Good night. Just make sure I don't give up a home run this time. You got it, Big G. We got this down now. It's the third it inning. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. That clips the inside. Okay, I'll take it. Strike. The 0-1 is the outside, and it's a ball and a strike. The pitch. So we can get a sinker up high here. Right, nope. Here's a but I'll take it. For a strike. One ball, two strikes. Throw a little change up here. See if a little slower ball can handle this. Next pitch is downstairs. Two balls, two strikes. Oh, Ooh, okay. Up. Full count. Now the payoff pitch from Digo. On the ground to the left. Gathers nice defense. Nice and defense. The the now we're taking our pitcher. Which, let's face it, the Negro Leagues really didn't mean a whole lot whether you're facing a pitcher or a fielder. A lot of good players are just playing all good players. And that one is lifted in the air. A little See what I mean? Single. And that turns the lineup over. Pitcher gets himself on base. Tried to get inside on him, but he was ready for it. Just kept his hands in and turned on the pitch. Quick bat through the zone. Now the batter now, Harvey. Right. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. 0-1. Oh All right, here we go. Two more outs to go. Left-hand hitter waits. In the dirt. Not going no for it. That's good job behind the dish. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. Okay. Last strike two. The pitch. Knocks that one away and we'll do it. Wow, again. he was early on that. Leads off first with one away. Next pitch oh. just misses. Two and two. two, two. Next That's offering misses. And now three okay, two. let's see here. There we go. Miles I will take it. Finish him off. I will take Marshall it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Now. He swings and misses at the Why didn't you just swing at that? That was like That was a home run pitch if I've ever seen one. That one missed. Oh. And a 1-1. One, one. The other way, 
And that's down a base hit. Okay, Goes okay. In there. Well, that may end One more out. That's all we need. Back to later on when this game is over. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working ah. on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. One Two strike. Outs, couple of base runners at first and second. Next offering is fouled back. The 0 2 from Digo. There Swing we go. Miss struck him out. Bingo. Hey. So 100 and 100 XP towards the program. That's okay. All right, let's see what we got here. He was the best player of all time. Black or white. And I'm, I'm sorry. It, it, for so many years, the concept of racism just escaped me. But you can start to understand. Uh-oh. Tally one RBI in one game. All right. I thought we were getting a little more dialogue in between, so... He just looks like a hitter. Oh, well, okay. So one out with two aboard. Mike oh, he's playing short here. Okay. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether uh, it looks like I'm redoing this one. Base hit. Tosses to first, but it's one nothing as the run scores. Oh, I got the RBI. I'll take it. <laughs> so I get the icons and. Oh, now I got a face satchel page. The year is 1938 in Mexico, and two pitching combatants are going at it. One was the name of the legendary satchel page. The other, a young player from Cuba by the name of Martin De Higo. Toe to toe, blow for blow, in the Mexican heat. They pitch to a one-to-one -one duel when the heat finally gets to satchel. But the Higo still goes strong. And okay. eventually, it would be Martin De Higo who would handle his own business and hit a walk-off home run to win the game for himself. Nice. So is that what we're going to have to do now? Is hit that home run? This is like one of the hardest challenges for me, period. All right, let's see if we fire some... Yep. All right. Martin Digo steps in against Satchel. What a matchup. Martin Digo going up against Satchel Page. It's like Willie Mays facing off against Pedro Martinez. Except, of course, this one actually happened. So cool to relive it right here. And first offering is fouled off. Got a good hit. The one thing I will say about these uh, these hitting hitting a home run things for here. He was all over that one. That could be a really tough is, uh, to handle a front door breaking. You get all this extra XP for every hit you get. Staying in there, keeping that front shoulder close. You didn't spit off the ball and hook it foul, which happens so many times. And a good fastball. And I should just lay off those if I don't see it coming where I want it to. There we go. Satchel will just watch it go. win all right so i get a stadium now too cool trouble with the curve okay a young martin de Hito was not unlike most young baseball players who struggle hitting the curveball 
Well, as my friend Buck O'Neill would say when a reporter once asked him, he said, Mr. O'Neill, how do you hit a great curveball? Buck O'Neill's reply was, by not missing the fastball. <laughs> it took a young Martin DeHigo a little while before he caught on to the nuances of trying to hit a curveball. Oh, but when he did, he raked everything. And he was hitting line drives all over the place. He was hitting mammoth home runs that some would estimate would travel as much as 500 feet. Okay. He worked himself into being more than just a serviceable hitter of that curveball to the point where he became a great curveball hitter. Nice. I really like this presentation. Oh, I love it when telemarketers call me in the afternoon. Sorry about the uh, background noise of my other phone ringing. So what are we doing here? Duck cleaning? No, this one... Uh, I actually picked up a loan from, uh, from a company here a couple of years ago and now... They want me to re-up. So tally two hits, one RBI. So. Bases loaded, nobody out. Here's Martin Digo stepping into the box. He's a guy who does it all. The pitch. Martin Digo was such a good hitter. People I am starting to learn a little bit more about uh, 261, trying to hit with a years old. And a lot of that had to do with hitting curveballs. Trying to hit the curveballs and Digo such. With a big time blast. That one is long. I will take that. Then you remember that Martin hit over 300 for the next eight. Now I just got to get a hit. I think he adjusted fine to hitting that. Yeah, curveball. that boob it was rather, rather fun. Since we don't have full records for a bunch of his career, about six years worth. Yeah, that's a great point. Because all they're doing now is just this should be nothing but curveballs going forward. Ah. Murray, the runner at second with one away. Think about curveballs is you got to sit back and wait on them. <laughs> if you know the curveball's coming it's like thank you come again so we get a bat and more xp i like this next level arm okay so we're halfway through the program already the great martin dehigo a throwing arm that many say is not only rival but surpassed the arm of Roberto Clemente. Oh, really? To have an arm that was even remotely compared to Roberto Clemente is the ultimate compliment. Yes, but yes, to it have is. One that some say surpassed Clemente. That's next level. Oh, it just makes you wish you could have seen it. Absolutely. Like, holy crap. Like, Roberto Clemente, for those that aren't familiar with baseball, he was considered one of the best players of all time. Ended up dying in a plane crash going home to help refugees in his, in his uh, native, uh, I think it was Nicaragua. Okay, I see you. I like these little breaks where you get to see stuff like this. Tally two extra base hits. Hopefully we can do what we just did. Just nail a couple uh, home runs. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Digo. And he deals. Ooh, one of my oh, favorite low. stories wow. about Martin Digo is how he stole home while walking the entire way. Next offering is downstairs. Come on. 
So Martinez Bring up. leading off third base out of nowhere. He just starts yelling at the pitcher, you balk, you balk. As he's walking towards home, he's just yelling, you balk, you balk, over and over again. So everyone's totally confused. Then he just touches home plate and he smiles because he walked his way into stealing home. Ha! That, that is a great story. If, if that's really the case, that is a great story. Next Damn it, is too high. Parker makes the catch. And I think we're going to be redoing this one, folks. But I really like how these stories are coming out here. That is such a cool story, and it really goes to show you how much baseball IQ Martin had that he could trick an entire team that way. Yeah, and I just love how creative players were and the way they played the sport back then. It's too bad we don't have much footage of those games. And out number one on the grab. Yeah, we're going to be redoing this. Unless we go to extra innings somehow. And a foul ball. Ag! Got to remember, slow. It's softly on the ground left side. Yeah, we'll be going back and redoing this one. Lined, and that's a base hit. One runs in. The winning run crosses the plate, and they walk it off and win it 4 3. I got the walk off. That, that that's got to be somewhat important, right? Bottom of the second. Martin Digo digging in now, and a pitch. Now fly ball to right center. Terry drifts towards it, squeezes it, and there's one down. In the air, right field. Of course, it'd be a foul ground. Pulls it down, two down. And I'm late. I just saw it. Oh, it's going right spot on. Damn it. Softly hit the third. Gordon handles. Tosses across the first. It always looks like such a weird angle from that. And that'll be an out. We'll go for an 0 for 4 here. Makes the grab. Yeah, there's two away. Still gonna give me one, okay. Smoked in the left field, base hit. At least got the base hit. From third, and it's a one run game. I got one hit, so I guess I can't feel horrible about this, but and they're back within a run. Just a cookie down the middle. All right, let's go. Bottom of the inning. Here's a speed threat. Martin Digo. Hit hard on the ground to short. On to first. Good contact, good placement, just a bad finish. One of my favorite stories about Martin Digo is how he stole home while walking the entire way. This one in the air center field. Adam. Damn. Under it. Puts the squeeze Right spot just missed it. There's two away. So Martin is leading off third base out of nowhere. He just starts yelling at the pitcher, you balk, you balk. As he's walking towards home, he's just yelling, you balk, you balk. Well, I got one. Big time blast. That one is long gone. <laughs> that is such a cool Now I just got to get a double. really goes to show you how much baseball IQ Martin had that he could trick an entire team that way. Oh, yeah, I, just love how oh I was too amped up on that one. Played the sport back then. It's too bad we don't have much footage of those games. Late swing fouled off. Mm -hmm. 
Come on, Bobby. Let's go. One down, base is empty. And a swing and and that's down the... on strikes. Two gone now. And it'll get a third shot, so I got to start all over. That was just poor decision-making on me. Two, and stepping in is the speedy Martin Digo. Next pitch has popped up. One away. Swing at a slow roller. Maybe I should throw out to take a pitcher 400 here. That ends the inning. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. And that's in there okay, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. And it's just. Oh, you son of a close. gun! And now the lefty. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the eight. Just glad I fouled that off. I got to time it up a little better here. Up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. And I got Back it. Into center base hit. In comes the run from third, and it's one nothing. Floyd with a relay in throw, there. and he's in there as they jump ahead. A run score. All right, I got one. one. Right Does it get? Oh, it's not going to give me a chance for the second one. Loud contact. You got to be aggressive in this game. That's one thing I'm learning really quick here. Martin Digo. Here comes a pitch. Digo with a big There we go. That one is That one's in the Okay. Kelly left that change up up. Got away with one there, and he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Runner around third. He'll score easily. And a 2-1 ball game now. Okay, I'll take two hits so far, but I got to get it. I got to get that extra base hit. This has got to be the time for it. That ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it. Nope. There's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Hit on the ground by that's two. Over to second for one. And that's two. Damn. All right. Let's see. Let's see it here. That one hand. Oh! Hold foul. Oh! Murray over at second. Base. Just early. First two out of the inning. That one drilled left field. Back there. Out of here. Thank you. So I got bat skin. I got more XP. That's always great. Martin Dehigo grew from a skinny kid from Cuba into a statuesque athlete, or as Monty Irvin would say, a beautiful ball player. Movie star good looks, tall, strong, one tremendous baseball player. And I love this. To the immense talent that was there in the Negro Leagues. But more importantly, he speaks to the fact that the Negro Leagues did not care what color you were. They welcome any and everyone who could play. Yeah. Hey, PSA Blackfire, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well here tonight. Today. I can't, it's still 3.50 in the afternoon. I'm like, what the heck? All right, what we got now? One hit. Realistically, this shouldn't be that hard. Okay, all set to go. Well, Here's Martin I'm glad, I'm glad things are going well for you. We're just getting through some of the uh, story modes Fish. here in uh, this one MLB The up. Show. First base side. West makes the grab. One As we're going through out. the Negro Leagues, uh, this is our first player we're looking at, Martin DeHigo. 
Really good player. Really good player. There's the hit. Drive, base hit. One I'll run take team. it. Now a second crosses the plate, and they take a two-run lead. So basically, you, you learn about these players, and you get uh, you have to go through eight or nine episodes with each player, and then you gain the actual player themselves. So. But this game is, ter like, I've had my uh, reservations about it going into uh, our upcoming Electric uh, Show League season. Just it felt a little bit tougher than before. Okay, so we got to pitch one inning here. That works. Um, Last chance for the home team. Now here is Sutton. But I'm starting to get a little bit more of a feeling to it. On top of his amazing physical skills, Martin Deagle was a tremendous baseball mind. He managed several of the teams he played for, including the New York Cubans. And he'll be safe at first. I thought that was a... And that Cubans team you mentioned also Oops. Had lefty Tion. Oops. future MLB All-Star Louis Tion. And in 1935, they played one of the greatest series ever against the Pittsburgh Crawfords. Oh, featuring we should have exhibition Dave, game Josh so you don't Gibson, get destroyed. Cool Maybe Pumper later this week. And Oscar Charleston. I know uh, must have been a sight Warren asked for one as well. That's Next boring. pitch misses. Two balls, no strikes. That 2-0 is in for a strike. Bradley waits. A little out front there as he swings through it. And down on strikes he goes. Ha! He swung or else it would have been. Has been just or else it would have been a hit by pitch. The center fielder, Newman. Ha! In there and it's on one. At first, one gone. There we go. Waves at that one. Let's waste one up here and see what happens. Next offering is foul back. He actually went for it. I'm impressed. The 0 2 from Digo. Swing and a miss. Strikes there we go. Two Ks. One more to go. One out from the shutout now. You Smith said shutout, you son of a field playing pretty shallow. First pitch. You're never supposed to use strike. the S word, and I just used it myself, so I'm very angry at myself too. Digo comes to the plate. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. Next oh, one misses. Right. It's a ball and two strikes. There we go. Martin Digo pitches a jam to win it for Gilbert. So we got a jersey and more XP, and we're almost there. One more to go. Thanks to the toolage of great Negro League stars like Oscar Charleston, who spent quite a bit of time playing in Cuba, took a young Martin De Higo under his wing and helped teach him the art of playing this game. Martin set new standards there in the Negro Leagues, standards that we still tout to this very day. Okay, so what do we got now? This is going to be our final challenge with Dehigo before I believe we get to have him as an actual card on our team. If he could work, if he could work my bullpen, my God, I would, you know, I need some desperate help in the bullpen. That's one thing. Two RBIs. Okay. Let's see what happens here.
And once again, shout out to Stream Beats for the great music we're using here because we can't use uh, the licensed music that they have in the game itself. But it is really comfortable watching. Uh, like this, this music's fitting in perfectly with this. And a pitch. High in the air, out to right. It's going to be what, RBI? Drops into the glove. Runners tagging from second and third. Throw is offline, and he scores. And it's one nothing. Okay, I got one so far. Now I just got to get one more. So what do we got here? Nobody on. Okay, got to do it myself. High fly ball, right field. Smith moving under this one. Ah, just got underneath it. And that'll do it. Or just over the top of it, sorry. So runner on first, so if I can get this in the gap. Next nope, pitch is pop up. up. Makes the catch, two down. Another runner on first. Okay, so it's giving me a little bit of uh, help here with this. Please say it's gone. Thank you. And I believe we got to Higo out of this. Fifty dollars XP and all that. All right. Oh no, El Maestro. All right. I guess there's nine more, or there's more. Hall of Famer Buck Leonard, who was a star for the Homestead Grade made it very clear that by his estimation, the great Martin DeHigo was not only the greatest black baseball player, but the greatest baseball player of any color. Okay. El Inmoto, or some would say El Maestro, the master. The master. Because he could do it all. He is the only baseball player in the history of our sport to be enshrined into five different countries' baseball halls of fame. He's in the really? Mexican, Cuban, Venezuelan, Dominican, and in Cooperstown. Wow. That's impressive. Nice. Booyah. All right, well, let's take a look at his player card and see who we got. So he plays every position. He's a starting pitcher. Damn it. A little bit of a fail, but I'm still going to use him. But look at all these attributes. No quirks. Nice. All right. All right. 